And I've been thinking about just all of the marvelous things, brothers and sisters, that we know, and all the things that we have, the understanding of the purpose of life, who we are. We know who God is. We know who the Savior is. Because we have Joseph, who went into a grove of trees as a boy, seeking really the forgiveness for his sins. I think it's one of the most glorious and wonderful things that anybody in this world can know that our Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ have revealed themselves in this latter day and that Joseph has been raised up to restore the fullness of the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ. My beloved brothers and sisters, my testimony to you this morning is how abundantly blessed we are to know all that we know because we have Joseph Smith, the prophet of this last dispensation dispensation of time. We have the Book of Mormon. What a marvelous, wonderful gift the Book of Mormon is to the membership of the church. Another witness, another testament that Jesus is the Christ. We have it because Joseph was worthy to go get the plates, was inspired by heaven to translate them by the gift and power of God and to give it to the world another testament that Jesus is the Christ. We're in the process of trying to prepare ourselves a day at a time to be a little better, be a little kinder, be a little more prepared for that day when it will surely come when we shall pass back into the presence of our Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. As I leave you my witness and testimony that I know that Jesus is the Christ. He is our Savior, our Redeemer. He is our best friend in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.